Good morning, I'm going to, or good afternoon, or good evening by the time we see this. It's George, how are you? I'm going to be reviewing smart science education for y'all. Here's what the website looks like. I'll show you how it started. Of course, got a solicitation, as you may, uh, many of you may have already, from different Try the Demos. This came up as smart science, and this gentleman by the name of Edward Keller. Excellent individual. Of course, he's trying to sell you the product. But he is giving you a 90-day free trial. I'm not sure if that applies anymore. However, if you do need a quote or, uh, you know, you are interested in getting this for your classroom, by all means, contact Edward Keller. What I'd like to say, a shout-out to him, is that as far as customer service goes, he's top-notch. So whenever things going wrong with me setting up or whatever the case might be, his emails back and forth were very quick, so we can move on and uh, go forward. So once the students start logging in, and registering, etc., uh, you'll get notifications in your email that they did do so. Okay, so once they're all in, you go ahead and you assign them a lab. How do you do that? Well, what you do is you go into your homepage as a, as a teacher. This has all been set up for me, again, by the infamous and legendary Ed Keller. Um, okay, we go to New York City schools. We go to and we find our school. Alrighty, and then we log in with the password that we're given. And here is your teacher dashboard, okay? So now you would go to assign, and then you would find the lab that you want to assign them. And as you can see, there's many, many different labs that you could choose from. The standards are referenced here, which is nice as well. There's chemistry, okay? And then there are other types of uh, disciplines that you could use. In my case, it was chemistry, okay? So I'm going to head and I'm going to go use a solubility lab because that is one that I did actually assign to the students so you could see data. Very simple to do. Simply click on the icon. You'll get this uh, little pop-up screen. I'm not going to hit assign again because the students were like, we already did that. So I'm going to just hit don't assign. You would hit assign and then you're done. Now, what do the students see on their end? Well, let's go take a look-see. They would click on using their name. They would choose their school and their password. And they would get their lab. So uh, they would go down to the solubility lab, and the lab begins. So real quick, I'm not going to go through the entire lab. I'm going to try to go through it as quick as possible, give you some pointers. Note that it is 5E-ish. Engage, explore, evaluate, explain, and extend. Okay, so that's nice. Um, now, what we also see is that the uh, icons that help you, little helper icons, you have the ability to um, listen to them as well. So what happens is the visual, the visual comes through, okay, and this is engaging them, and what it's doing is it going through the process there. Now, once that's complete, if we click okay. here. Read the introduction to the right and scroll to answer the few questions below them. You may press the leave button to exit or press the menu button for help. Okay, so it gives you exactly what you need to do next. The student would then go through this and answer the questions. All right, I'll show you how that looks like there. Submit. Gives them the box. Do you really want to do this? They say yes. Hey, it's going to be great. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Yes. Okay, Nicely cool. done. Boom. You have finished the introduction. You may review your answers by scrolling the panel to the right. Press the close button when done to advance to the experiment part of this lesson. Yeah, um, what I wanted to uh, point out here is that although the great, although the, uh, the the scores have been submitted, it does tell you which ones that they got the student that will be given, which is which is a correct and incorrect, so they can go through that. Once they close that, they then follow the next. Congratulations. Process. You have okay. successfully completed the introduction to the solubility lesson. So Next, I'm going to go ahead and pick right, a hypothesis. Choose a hypothesis above. You can always return and change your hypothesis. There you go. So the you... menu button provides help. All right. So again, it's all it's all discussed for you there. Now to pick the experiment here, I'm going to go ahead and pick this experiment. And so let's just say, for example, uh, to get specific, water and sodium chloride. That's my first experiment. Let's do water and we'll do sugar, okay? Now, once I've hit water and sugar, let's see exactly what happens. So we're going to hit play, and then we're going to see the actual experiment that we've chosen in this particular case, solubility, for water and sugar. And as we know, sugar should be wa soluble in water. And once that experiment is complete, 
we then have the ability to record our data. What I do like about this is it is very visual. So what we're doing is we're comparing what we see here to what we see here. Well, here are our three options, note, okay? We're going to go ahead and select the one that we choose. We think is correct, which is in this case here. And then that gives you a data point, okay? Now what you do is you can connect, you can uh, choose a next experiment over here. And then we can time to do another experiment. And then we'll, let's just use hexane in this example. We hit play. And then the... the, the um, Experiment shows us what's happening with hexane and sugar. All right, blah, 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 blah. This goes through here. We'll just have to give that a second to finish. How's everybody doing out there? Good? Yeah, I feel you. All right, so I'll move my little box here. So now we're going to compare the two. Which one is it? One, two, or three? Right, two. So let's go ahead and put two in, and we get another data point. Now, once that's complete, we can continue to do this. The student can continue to do this. I'm naturally not going to do that. More data points, the better. Now we go into the evaluate section if we want to, okay? Once we click evaluate, it goes through based on your results and same format. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click away here, hit submit. Your answers will be graded. Note the uh, pattern that's developing. All right, you've completed the quiz. Terrific. Now we're going to close. Okay, now you've completed the quiz. Continue by writing the report about solubility. So it does give you that option as well. So then what will happen is we'll go ahead and we'll hit explain. And then over here it gives you the option to type in all of the answers that you want to do for your lab report and your conclusion. Hit submit on that, the student would. Move the box out of the way. Your answers will be graded. Again, what's nice is it does give you the option that, hey, I want to make sure I want to send this stuff in to this teacher. So, yes. Your answer will be graded. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Your submission is complete. You may continue. Download, hit archive, or close your port. Now, here's what's nice here as well. I'm going to hit and hit close. And now at this point, it gives us, the student is given the option to go into the extend. The extend is just, again, more of an extension of what we did. Gives them the option, and here's the instructions as to what the uh, what they're required to do and results, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, cool. Now, what happens on the student on the teacher end? Once it's submitted, we go to our evaluate as a school teacher, as the instructor, and then we'll click into instructors. Click here again, and now I'm given all of the data from the students, their grades. Okay, if I want to show the standards, I can do this. Okay, here's the standards that are that are being tested in these quizzes, etc. Okay, introduction, quiz, report, and it's whether or not they did the extension. If you want to drill down to particularly a student's work, you can do that as well. Okay, you can see which ones they got wrong. It also gives the ability to, so uh, I have the ability to export these as well. Gives me a nice little CSV for me to download, uh, I'm sorry, for me to upload into schedule if you like to do that or if you just like to kind of transfer it yourself. So what I liked about this in conclusion, hi, it's just me now. What I liked about this in conclusion what it, was it that it was pretty easy to set up. You did have good customer service with the individual there in the uh, organization itself. Um, I felt that the uh, the questions that were asked were a little advanced my students did okay with them, not too well, but it does offer you the ability to go back and reteach and see which ones, that, uh, which particular concepts they did get wrong. Gives you the ability to have a dashboard so you could see a snapshot. Gives you the ability to assign different labs. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Uh, questions will be done live. Have an awesome day. Thank you.